Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to do a look with the new um, palettes. These are the Magazine Collection palettes from Cara Beauty. So I'm going to be trying out the Cara Beauty uh, Make a Statement palette. So if you guys would like to see the look that I create on my eyes today, make sure to keep on watching. Before we jump into today's video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and turn on your post notifications so you guys never miss when I upload. And without further ado, let's get right into it. some of the blues in here but I don't know there's a lot of really pretty shades this is what the palette is looking like so I kind of want to take the shade called transformation it's like a really pretty blue and I'm just gonna add that like, to my crease like the outer corner there is some fallout but I'm not really too worried about it Just gonna be adding that into the inner part and out. Okay, so as you guys can see, I had quite a lot of bit of fallout over here, so I'm just gonna wipe it away really quickly. After that shade transformation, I'm going to be grabbing this shade right here, which is like a really pretty blue shade, and it's called Pool Party. I'm going to be using that to blend out transformation. So just taking that and like buffing it in like circular motions. Just taking a little bit more. Of my eye. I'm like really sorry for not zooming you guys in sooner, but yeah, I'm just taking a little bit of the pool party and blending it. And then I'm just going to take a little bit more of transformation and go back and forth. Okay, so now I'm going to do that to my other eye. I'm just taking a little bit of slay with my finger and I'm just going to be patting it into like the inner part of my eye. Then just taking a little bit of that brush, the transformation, and just like blending out the rest. I know it's like barely noticeable, but it is still there. So you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, I'm gonna grab a brush just to see how it like actually picks up. With a brush. I feel like it applies pretty well. Not too bad. So far, so good. Um, I think I need to clean up my. I think I just have to clean up the under eye a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and move on. Just taking a makeup wipe and going right underneath. So I thought in this video, since I was just going to be doing my makeup and like a quick eye look, I could also do my November wish list. So yeah, that way I'm not just like sitting down here and like letting you guys know, um, like, you know, just like telling you guys what I'm going to buy. Instead, I can just like be doing my makeup and tell you guys what I plan on picking up this month. So I'm just going to add a little bit of lip balm. the 
Juvia's Place one. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and do my makeup and tell you guys what I plan on picking up for the month of November. Some of these things did come out um, October 30th or October 31st. But the reason that I didn't include it in my October wish list because I, even though it is coming out in October and I probably already have it marked off, I did want to share it because it's like more leaning towards the beginning of November. So I just figured that that would make a little bit of sense. And this all does go in alphabetical order. So the first thing I have on my wish list is the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder. Now, I have a lot of setting powders, but I don't have like a really nice like pressed powder. And I've really been on the market for like a pressed powder for a really long time. Sometimes I don't want to have a translucent powder. I want to have something that I know can mattify me and I I don't have to like press it into my skin. Um because sometimes like you know, loose powders are very messy so i just wanted a setting powder just like a regular setting powder something that would indeed set my makeup and i know was going to be really effective um and also have like not have like a specific tone like Char charlotte tilbury only offers four different shades so i'm between like light and medium if i wanted something really fair i can go with light if i wanted something really um, like close to my skin I can go with medium so it gives like a little bit of wiggle room so I did want that powder it is $45 it did not launch in November or anything like that but I do plan on picking it up since the Sephora sale is currently happening um, and I've heard really good things about Charlotte Tilbury's brand so I kind of just wanted to try something I did want to pick up her setting pow her setting uh, Miss, but I was just like, you know what? I'll just save that for the next sale. Hopefully, I'll finish a setting spray um, by then. I'm sure I'll really like it if I do try it out. But I already have so many setting powders that I kind of want to finish at least one before I add another one to my collection. So, yeah, that's why I decided to not add the setting spray um, for this sale. I'll just wait for the next time they do a sale which is going to be like around next spring so the next product i have in here is the colourpop dark blooms collection um now all three of the palettes i did pick up i picked up grandeur um ornit and um i'm sorry if i'm butchering any of them and baroque baroque i don't know how you spell, like pronounce it um, but yeah, they are really, really pretty. Of course, they're like neutral, warm tones, and there's a cool toned one. But I personally really love the collection, and I did want to pick up a blush. Um, but unfortunately, I was waiting for these palettes to hit Ulta because I had some points, and I didn't want to like spend, like, I, I don't know, I just really wanted to spend my points on that. But if you don't have points at Ulta and you like, you know, if I didn't have points at Ulta, I probably would have just bought it off of ColourPop. Um, but Ulta usually ships it to me like pretty fast. So if I can, I just like to buy things off Ulta. So it sucks because they didn't have the blushes. They only had the, the um, palettes and the lip products. They had like lip and lipsticks and as well as the luxe lip gloss so yeah they didn't end up adding the blushes to the website which sucks but hopefully if they release something which like colourpop never stops releasing products hopefully if they release something within the coming uh weeks or days then i can pick up that blush with any other order i'll place so and these are just things that i'm adding to my list right now these are officially on my list because they were launching or i plan on getting them this month or because of black friday but not everything has like released yet um so obviously this list could get on can be longer but this is just some of the things that i did plan on getting so the next thing i have is the dose of colors cutting edge and smoky soiree eyeshadow palettes now these are on Ulta as well as um, obviously on the Dose of Colors website. The only reason I did want to get them off Ulta is because, you know, sometimes they do have like coupons, but if Dose of Colors has a website like 
deal for Black Friday, I might end up picking up those palettes. I'm so on the fence if I like absolutely need them, even though I think that they're really, really pretty. I'm like, do I need them? I wish that they would have been a palette that BoxyCharm included, um, but they did not. So, yeah. Okay, so yeah, those are really, really pretty. I really like the shapes um, in the palettes and... I really like the other Dose of Colors palettes that I have tried, but again, this could vary. I, these are all things that I have on here, but if I like something else better, I'll end up picking up that. Give Me Glow plans on releasing two palettes for Black Friday. Um, I believe there are two eyeshadow palettes, but I'm not for sure. Um, but that's what they had said in like a post a while back. They already... Um, posted one of the palettes that they do plan on releasing and it's a little cinnamon roll palette it's really really cute i know that give me glow um makes a lot of really cute palettes and i really really like their palette so i do plan on picking that one up and it is releasing on black friday and again uh, they said that they were going to be releasing two palettes but i haven't seen the other one so that's just something that I will keep in mind. The next one is the um, Glamlight Burger Slider um, palette. They did release that on October 30th. Um, I did pick up like the whole entire combo. So look forward to a review from that. It just shipped as I'm filming this video. So I'm like super excited to get it. And then next we have the Huda Beauty Naughty Palette. This released November 1st, which was this past Sunday. And I really, really wanted it. I really like Huda Beauty's eyeshadows. So, yeah. Um, it looks like a really pretty palette. And I just, again, really like Huda Beauty's shadows. So I did end up picking that palette up um especially during the sephora sale i thought it was great because you do get 20 percent off so laroc like the indie brand that released that big artistry palette um on october 30th as well released their um circus tent palette so a lot of people were saying that it looked a lot like the be perfect cosmetics palettes but i personally think it's a little bit more neon and it has a lot more pastels uh, versus the um be perfect palette so yeah that was for pre-order um on october 30th and it's a really really pretty palette i really really want it so yes that is on my wish list and it does retail usd player for 43 dollars so the next is what we finally have a date on and that is the melt beetlejuice collection yes ladies and gentlemen they finally released a date they haven't released prices yet but they have released a date it will be releasing on black friday so yes um and you gotta set your reminders those reminders will always tell you what time it comes out like pst eastern standard time and your time so those reminders are really helpful whenever they do um reminders for launches on their instagram make sure to like hit the reminder so that way you guys are aware what time it's going to release if you are interested in picking it up this uh melt collection will be releasing at 2 a.m in central time um i believe i have to like look back at it but i believe it was in central time it will be coming out at 2 a.m so yeah and it will be releasing on black friday so that's exciting a lot of people like i said in my last video were saying like why are you guys releasing it so late halloween already passed you guys should have released this earlier again um i feel like you guys aren't aware that beetlejuice did not come out during halloween and beetlejuice is like something that people like i mean funko pops for beetlejuice have released in times that it's not halloween like something's just released at an odd timing it may not make sense to you but you don't have to buy it if you don't want to either so um i'm really excited about the collection i can't wait 
Um, I hope it doesn't sell out too quickly. I know some other things do sell out very quickly. I hope that is one thing I can hopefully get my hands on because I really, really love Beetlejuice. All right, the next one is the um, Men Menagerie Cosmetics uh, Arthur and Blush Palette. Now, this one has a really, really cute bear on it, and I really want that palette so bad. Um, I just think it's so cute, and I really like the blush shades, and I love Menagerie as a brand so i'm really just hoping that they do have it and i can pick it up during black friday and that palette does reach out for 54 dollars minus cosmetics had teased a palette or some sort of thing recently but i'm not sure if it will be releasing for like black friday they just released like this swivel like it was like marvel packaging it's like really pretty i have it on my wish list on my instagram as well as like they still have it up on their instagram but they just said coming soon so yeah i'm really excited to see like what they're working on um so i'm really excited about that um but who knows if they will be releasing it in november so next trend mood just announced that her tr next trend mood box will indeed be with nabla cosmetics so i'm super excited i really love nabla so i'm really really excited and nabla has been in a lot of her um past trend mood boxes so the fact that they're getting their own is really really nice they are including a lot of different releases um i'm really excited that's like the first trend mood box i mean i had i've had my eyes on a couple other trend mood boxes but after seeing that palette i'm just like ooh, I really want it the other one i wanted was a dominique cosmetics one but that one sold out like super fast um it had like her one of her palettes uh one that she had like released it was like a copy one the second latte palette yeah she collaborated with trend mode one was really popular but that one was also very limited, so... Alright, so yeah, I definitely do want to get that Trend Mood Nabla uh, box if I can. And then the next one is the Natasha Denona Trio Chrome Palette. Now this one, I'm still on the fence about. I may not pick it up um, just because I'm like, I'll probably just wait for it to get on sale more because $129 is still a lot. So let me line my lips really quick. I'm using MAC Strip Down. I'm using the Artist Couture Angel Baby Lipstick. And last but not least, I'm going to be adding the Uncensored 2.0. Alright, and so, yes, um, the Trio Chrome palette is one palette that I really, really, really think is gorgeous, but I have to kind of see a couple more pictures, and who knows if pictures are going to be released, like, customer pictures, um, by the time it, you know, the sale's still going on, because a lot of them usually are already over by that time, like, by the time reviews go up, you know, the sale might not be going on, but I'm still on the fence about it. I don't know. So, the last thing, well, the next thing is the Nomad Cosmetics Cartagena Palette. Now, this one, I've had my eyes on it for, like, a really, really long time. I think it's absolutely stunning, but again, it's kind of like a thing that I wanted to wait to see if they are going to be having a Black Friday sale. Yeah, it does retail for $37. Um, which I hope they do have some type of Black Friday sale because I've been holding off on getting that palette um, until like it's like Black Friday just to see if they have some type of sale. And then I did decide 
to add the Pat McGrath um, Celestial Divinity. Now in my last video, I had told you guys that it did arrive broken and I was kind of like still on the fence about getting it because even though it was really really pretty, I just like wasn't really sure if it's something that I needed exactly. Um, so yeah, that I will be picking it up. I should have my mind made up before the sale ends. And then last but not least on the P alphabetical letter is Playing in Makeup by Yolando X Beats by Deb. Now her palette, so freaking stunning. Um, I really, really love Makeup uh, by Yolando. Uh, Playing in Makeup by Yolando. I've shared their palettes on my channel before. Um, and yeah, I'm like really, really excited just to see like what um, she does offer for Black Friday. I'm pretty sure she will have a sale so i'm really excited uh to see just like how much percentage it is maybe i'll be like 50 percent off or 40 percent off but i do plan on picking up that palette if it does go on sale for black friday and then last but not least is the sample beauty equalizer 2 palette now they just announced today that they will be um launching it this week so I can't wait. They have been teasing the hell out of me, showing that palette and not showing me the inside. I'm so excited. The Equalizer 2 was really, really nice. And I really liked all the other palettes that they've been releasing. So yeah, I'm super excited to see what the Equalizer 2 will look like. I'm sure it's going to be really, really nice um, and really pretty. And I'm so excited. So yeah, I can't wait to see like when the official launch will be because it's already... Wednesday so I don't know if they meant like this week as in like you know before Sunday so yeah that's the last thing that I have on my wish list I do think Colourpop will be releasing a holiday collection I swear I saw someone repost something about that but like I feel like all the posts got deleted I feel like it was leaked almost because like I swear I saw someone talking about them and I can't find the pictures anywhere so yeah but that definitely is on my um wish list if it is going up because i believe i saw a picture of the palette and it looks really really pretty but again i'm not for sure if they will be if that is like released yet um or what else um as far as i'm looking on trend moods page um yeah that's pretty much it p louise is releasing a collection called P. Louise is cancelled. Um, kind of problematic, but nonetheless, the palette is super freaking huge. Um, I don't need any more huge palettes, so I will not be picking that palette up. But if it is something that interests you, let, definitely let me know. But I did like the worldy palette. Like, I think it's cute. Um, but personally, I'm just like, that palette, the one that she's going to come out with, is one of her biggest to this day. It is literally huge, so I just don't feel like um, I really need it. I'm just like, I'm kind of over really big palettes. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. That's like all I see. Everything else I've either probably bought or I'm not interested in or I've already spoken about and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this a video of me using the Cara Beauty make a statement um completely forgot there was a bronzer in here and a like 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 a highlighter um but I just decided you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and use that just use whatever isn't like whatever I have in my collection um, but I wish I would have remembered that it had a bronzer I guess just to see if it was powdering or not because sometimes I really don't like a really powdery bronzer I like to be able to not have to, something too powdery because then it's like too much pigment on the brush so yeah um, that's pretty much it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it um, make sure that if you guys did to give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel down below and don't forget to turn on your post notifications and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye.